I'm just doing a very quick follow-up video with my Beretta 950 BS 22 short pistol. The last time I had this out to the range, I was having issues with the ammo feeding. So I bought some uh, CCI 22 short hollow points, and I have a few Aguilas in here as well. I want to see how it functions now that I have better ammo. And that's how I expect it to function, with the exception of that last round stove piping. But easy to clear a jam in these because it has a tip-up barrel. That was pretty promising with the CCI. Let's try some Aguila and see if it loads correctly or uh, nope that's not promising this is an aftermarket magazine though I think it's a I forget what brand it is but it's an aftermarket mag let's see if it works after I get the first round to load hmm. nope doesn't like a Gila or it doesn't like this magazine or both well let's try Aguila in a different magazine. This is a factory Beretta magazine. Let's see if the Aguila works in the factory Beretta mag. No, wow. I'm actually pretty shocked. This Italian lady may only like CCI ammo. That may be the case. If I singly load it, fires fine, but doesn't eject. So, a Gila 22 short does not have enough velocity to eject out of it, so let's try another magazine of CCI. It may be that this only likes CCI ammo. And that went flawlessly. Well, so I guess if I only feed it CCI 22 short, I shouldn't have any issues. As long as it has, I mean, this is 1105 feet per second. This is a pretty high velocity round for a 22 short. But it didn't like the Winchester flat nose at all. Or the, sorry, the Remington Golden Bullet that I had. It didn't like that stuff at all. It doesn't like the Aguila. Doesn't seem to have enough oomph to eject it. So if, if I stick to CCI, I think I'll be all set on this guy. Let's try two more mags with the CCI and see how reliable I can make it. pretty good promising another magazine with the CCI oops I don't know where that one went god I hate wasting 22 short the stuff so hard to find I'll have to look for it but here's another magazine with the CCI Let's see oh didn't load one so CCI is definitely reliable and functions well. The Aguila, I don't know, it just doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. Let's try loading a CCI in the chamber and see if I can cycle the Aguila. This is when trying to load a, or clear a malfunction on one of these when you have a round in the chamber is a little bit difficult sometimes. Yeah, this magazine is messed up. I think it's a Mechgar, but the top, the top lips on it seem to be catching. I'm gonna have to try to work on that magazine, I think. Yeah, does not like a Gila. Even just singly loading it, not powerful enough to eject. So, well, there you have it. The uh, Beretta 950 BS, if I want it to be reliable, I'm gonna have to shoot pretty much primarily the CCI out of it, which is okay. I can find it. There's a couple places that have it, but it's like $14 for 100 rounds versus, you know, I forget what I paid for the Aguila. I think I spent 50 bucks on 500 rounds when I bought it, so. But it's going to keep malfunctioning with the Aguila. I'm not even going to bother shooting it. I'll just stick with CCI. So thanks for watching another short edition of Cranky Gun Reviews talking about the Beretta 950 BS and what ammo it can and can't shoot. I think CCI uh, hollow point or CCI uh, regular short ammo is what you're going to want to use, something with a high velocity, 1,100 feet per second, 1,200 feet per second. That's what I got to work in mine. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. 
God bless America. Make sure you support your two-way rights. Get out there and shoot. And you remember, if someone asks you to give up some of your freedom for the greater good, that freedom is the greater good. Have a great day.